Team Abu Dhabi take the field. It's because it's national day here in the UAE. 50 years of going strong. And it might be 50 years of going strong, but Sheldon Cottrell has been cut away first ball for four. Uh, Gurba has been going strong since last night. He's just short and wide, he's in supreme form. Not exactly out of the middle, but the placement, superb. In the chest to his teammates. And Chandra Paul Hemraj at the other end. Smashed in the air, and Corwell at mid-off. So Sheldon, here it comes. There we go. The best celebration in cricket. We've seen it straight away. And it just seems that if it's gone, yeah, it's gone nowhere. It's hit high on the bat, and it's gone straight to Naveen. And he does well to take that one. There you go, celebration time all over Abu Dhabi and Sheldon Cottrell. In his first over. And this one flays over the top. A backward point, we're going to go for four. Brilliant fielding. Naveen Hack on the boundary, flying round. Good support as well. From his teammate, flicked it inside, straight to the go, run to the boundary in support. Smashed away, It'll just be a single. Oh, and this isn't a back foot step whatsoever. Gabaz do what he does best, point it over the line, a huge six. It's a slow delivery as he picked it, and then he smashed it all the way, and the crowd erupted. There's so much noise as he hit that away for a maximum. Really is a massive, massive blow. It's incredible striking. And now straight, mid-off is wide, won't get round to cut this one off, four more. Goes straight up, cross seam delivery, and he just held the ball and smashed it down the ground. And you saw there on the replay, even when he doesn't strike it cleanly. This one's gone high. Midoff sprints in. Can he get underneath it? He can. Oh, and he spills it. Roars around the ground from the home supporters. Colin Ingram is the man. Made some good ground to get underneath it. I think the crowd thought this had been taken. The home support thought he'd taken the catch. The devastation when they realised that he hadn't. Flicked away over the leg side. Wonderful stroke. Wonderful timing. A maximum. A little drop kick. It's just down the leg side just slightly and he's picked it up it's just a little chip and it's gone all the way this is fantastic batting this is miss hit on the leg side and one of the reasons the atmosphere is so good is Gobaz is in town another maximum Could this be a Rario moment? You can own your favorite cricket moments from Rario.com, Abu Dhabi T10's official NFT partner. And why wouldn't Gurbaz own this old moment? He spotted the slow one and then just thumped it over the ground. Proper batting this. 31 from 13 now for Gurbaz. Make that 35 from 14. Well, there you go, down the pitch. Gets a short delivery and swats it back over the bowler's head for another maximum. A short making of the highest order. He's actually come down the wicket and then gave himself the time when he just stopped and flat batted this down the ground. The balance was perfect, he didn't run. And over balance, he just checked himself and smashed it down the ground. Is this going all the way again? 
It is. This is unstoppable from Gerbaz at the moment. It's absolutely on fire. It is really short, but that is powerful batting. He's pulled that away. Schmack smashed away. It'll just be a single. Well, has been working pretty well for you so far in this competition. As that one goes for six, Rutherford. Rutherford off um, Naveen Ulhak. How's he as a bowler? What's your experience with Ulhak? He's been outstanding. I think he's one of the most skillful bowlers in our side. He's very brave. He's prepared to try different things, and we've encouraged that. And, and that's that's what you have to do. If you're going to play this form of the game, you've got to be brave. You've got to be prepared to try things. Three back. Strong, powerful arms of Shafir Rutherford coming through the ball. And it flies to six. He likes it too, Owen Morgan. Wow. Shot of the evening for me. Look at the simplicity of the execution there by Shafane Rutherford. Hold the pose, young man. I think he liked that one. And the camera's out as well. And again. You can't serve it up like that to Shafane Rutherford because he will punish you. Wow. Just wow, just short of a length. And watch how he rocks back and pumps it out of the ground. Twenty-two from the over so far, still up and over. He knows it no other way. Gurbaz. 50 of 18, and there is passion in that celebration. Wow! When you're hot, you're hot. And he certainly is extra hot. Wow! Back to back 50s for Gurbaz. Boy, he is uh, pumped. And he breaks into the action and. Uh, we are back live, <laughs> and guess what? It's raining boundaries out here. So that's the line you want to bowl. However, it's not the length. As uh, Delhi Bulls move on to 101, and we only into the seventh over. That's a gift, a real gift for Rutherford. He's in really good nick, he's uh, striking it well. Four sixes so far. Make that number five. And make that a hundred partnership between these two. Wow! What ball striking. When it's raining sixes out here, that's in the slot. Uh, Mr. Rutherford says, uh, thank you very much. Flies through. Well, well, well. Absolute carnage. 50 comes up for Rutherford as well. Yep, and that's exactly the type of delivery you want to bowl. And that's the way to feel off your own bowling. That's brilliant. Haven't seen a lot of it from Team Abu Dhabi, but here it is. There has got to be a huge moment in this game. What a brilliant, brilliant piece of fielding of his own bowling. Mashad Dalanga having a really good time with the ball. This time, dives, slides, picks it up and knocks those stumps down. What an exciting time to come to the crease if you're a batsman. Following a super partnership, ouch. Resume back to normality. Miscued, miscued, but just away from the bowler. Off the mark. How about this young man? Might uh, 
Sally has added yet another boundary. Is quite high from this man. He packs a punch. Has a really good base and fast hands too into the ball. Always searching to take it. How is that? Up and away. Doesn't go into the boundary line, but uh, should be stopped. Yeah. The awareness from Livingston, impressive. I think he's enjoyed that. He's got his captain out. Slow, loopy, slow off spinner. This reminded me a little bit of uh, sort of commentator in this uh, Ado Abbey T10, how he used to bowl. Bravo off the mark. Up and over. In the gap. And we'll go for four. Just watch how simple he keeps it. Gets deep in his crease and just extends his arm beautifully through extra cover. Picked it up. Moved the cross. Just to fetch it, he might be run out here. Ball watching, what a sad end to the innings. Gurbaz and his fireworks. It made total sense for Gurbaz to try and come back for the two. However, watch this for a throw. On the money. As uh, Phil Salt uh, does the rest. Might go for four. Oh, the umpire might just want to check. Goes uh, with the attacking Yorker, full and straight. Castled. Bola triumphs off the last delivery of the over and of the innings. Yeah, Luke Wright had to have a go. Unfortunately, uh, he misses and uh, Naveen ul -Haq miss it, hits. What that means, Delhi Bulls, if they are to get into that top two position, will want to win by 28 runs or more. Slid in. With an arm ball that disappears to the fence, very first delivery. Gives himself a bit of wet, the arm ball comes in. And Salt sized it over the offside ball. Get it! Get it and it is, cries off. Irishman to Irishman. Morgan does the trick here, first one down. Well, Sterling just gave himself a bit of room. Tried to hit that offside, tried to hit the gap. He could only pick out his mate, the Irishman, Owen Morgan. So he's got to go. Team Abu Dhabi lose there first. With just seven on the board. Oh, there's that free swing. And there's another sixer from Livingston. <laughs> Talking about putting the mockers on someone, Daddy. Quality of the man, he doesn't worry about that. This one swung in right into his arc. Glorious strike. I have a long on. What a six this is. And what a good catch as well. Look out for this one. Now a race away for four. Just a bit too much width here for Ruki. Which as well to reach this, Livingston. It would have been a wide. One-handed, it needs one hand, this boy. Such as his uh, rich vein of form, there's nothing he can't do. Livingston hitting it all parts. Oh, you don't fall short to this guy either. Salt with the fast hands through the ball. Six more, says Nigel Long, and it's now 25 for one after two.
it will just get it out of the fat of the bat. When you got that, I thought it was going to go straight to long off for a while. It was mishit. These tiny boundaries exploited by Salt. Straight out. Should be out. Keepers calling for it. Oh, tricky. There's a man right there. Man with the gloves on. Well, Bayes, with all the runs, he really wanted it, though, and called for it early. Well, they say if the keeper can get there, the keeper does get there, and he called early. He did everything right. He said, that's mine. He sprints after it. Notoriously difficult to take these skies in the uh, UAE sky. Oh, yes, 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 sir. Rario, watch out! Has to be a Rario moment. The Rario sign's taken a battering, and you can now own your favourite cricketing moments from Rario.com, courtesy of Phil Salt on this occasion. Abu Dhabi T10's official NFT partner. Salt says, I'm going to have a piece of you, but he doesn't get enough of it. Morgan with another catch. The ball tends to follow you some nights. Well, he's gone for that short boundary. It was fuller this time. You have to get him on the front foot. Right off the bottom of the bat. And like you say, Danny, sometimes the ball follows the man round. It's followed Owen Morgan all tournament. And he's taken catch after catch. He's a real Dream 11 game changer. Got two straight on the leg stump here. And the quality of this bloke is everywhere around the ground. You go offside, it'll hit you through back and point. If you're on a length, he hits it out the ground. Drift to the leg side. And he's not even happy with that. He said, oh, I should have hit that for six. And Mr. Gangas, he's gone for the boys in orange. Crashing edge, he gives it some hand speed. There's Liam Livingston. A tennis player. He's got a net call. Sorry about that, pal. Didn't mean that to go there. Well, what he meant to do is hit it over his head for six, so the bowler's actually got away with this one. Oh, it's too close to do that. Bell Drummond gets away with it. Ah! That was a thick edge, does Liam tonight. Four more. He's trying to absolutely whooshka this out the ground. Shaking the head. He'll take four, though. Yeah, there is the edge. Gabaz again! No, oh, and he holds this one, and he goes crazy and hits it in a celebration. With a good catch. It was a long up, should have gone out of the ground. One of the very few occasions at Livingston. Didn't get a hold of it. Catches it. Shows his frustration. Oh, first conquer. Let's go crazy. He's gone back to it. He didn't want to get nicked off. Good turn. Hit one of those cracks. Off Dolly. Adil Rashid on a hat trick. Hat trick ball here. Oh, nice. An absolute ripper. We've got a googly through the gate here. And see you, see you later, Jamie Overton. Crowd erupting there at Zayed. There's another hat-trick, and there's a bit of jubilation for those in orange. Fellow Englishman Jamie Overton to the crease. He knew his game. Big googly outside the off stump. Through the gate, top of off, and even Andy Flowers smiling. Now we've got a bit of uh, Briggs and Bell Drummond trying to get them to 108, that magical number. Oh, splice, splice, should be, could be, is! Six one down now. They're red hot in terms of form with the ball. Well, Drummond not getting any sort of tempo to his innings. Going for a big one and just miscued it. That's crisp. Is it good enough? Oh, it's palmed over! Keep your eyes on him. And he was uh, trying to judge the ball, still moving on shore, off the elevation. And then the jump. 
just found his hands in an awkward position. Done! Trying to get too cute here, Danny Briggs. Five wickets off the last nine balls. That's how eventful that passage of play has been. And it's all happening in favour of the Bulls. Oh, that's not a bad delivery at all. Lovely angles that he gets here. And it is a maiden, let's celebrate! And it's gone to the moon, who wants it? Safe. Yeah, it was always going to be... Now so far away, given there's only eight balls. Gone. Rutherford gives him something to smile after that fine half century and well it's just a formality now for the Bulls one hander it's slower one just to finish things off that's the game done and dusted 86 for 8 from uh, Romanolo Gubez and lots of high fives all around and understandably so Delhi Bulls, they secure another win.